everyone welcome back to my channel so I showed you this smoky eye on my Instagram a little while ago and I didn't upload it because I lost some footage but here it is now so I'm starting off with the Mac soft ochre paint pot on my eyelid to prime my eyes because this is such an intense smoky eye I'm starting with the eyes instead of just going straight in with skin in case we get any fallout so I'm using this light shade out of the Kat Von D palette it's the eye contour palette just to set that make sure that everything blends really nicely and then I'm going in with this shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette and using that in my crease all in like the socket line to start out the smoking of the look these are the kind of looks that take time and you need to build up the color it's always going to look crazy before you get to the very end but just keep going keep blending keep building add a little bit of color at a time and that's how you get that ultimate smoky eye So now I'm just using a black eyeliner all across my lash line and then I'm going to smudge that out a little bit. So I'm using this as a base for the darkest part of the eye look. So the darkest part of my smoky eye, I want to be along the lash line. So it's like using a cream eyeshadow or something. And then I'm packing on a Kat Von D eyeshadow from the Eye Contour palette on top. This is a black. I started getting really frustrated with this black. You'll see here, I was like blending it in and patting it in for ages. This black, from what I remember, was really pigmented and really good. And I don't know if maybe this particular palette, I've had it for too long and it started to go off, but you'll see I'm getting really frustrated with the colors. Like I'm just putting a lot of work into it and the colors are just fading away. So you'll see here, I'm trying to blend the black with a cool tone brown and it's just not really doing much it's just kind of taking away the intensity of the black so I think I need to get me a new Kat Von D palette now I'm just lining my um, lash line with the black eyeliner again to create that intensity again that I've lost from the blending out and just winging it out ever so slightly also applying that to the waterline and the tight line you wanna get right in there, that's gonna make the eye look really intense. And then I went to an Urban Decay palette that's brand new and I picked up the black shadow in that and it was completely different. So I think I'm right, my old Kat Von D palette needs to be replaced. This black, you can see the difference when I'm patting it on top, the pigmentation. It's just completely transforming the eye from kind of like in a muddy kind of smoky eye to a really intense one. And you'll see that I keep going back in with my blending brush with the warmer eyeshadow on it, that warm tone from the Anastasia palette, and blending out the edges. So we're patting on top, we're blending out the edges. Patting on top, blending out the edges. And then for that transition in the middle, the bit between the black and the brown, I was just using a darker brown from the Anastasia palette. Loving the Anastasia palette. So now we're just taking away all of that fallout. Whenever I do a black smoky eye, no matter how good the eyeshadow palette, I get a lot, a lot of fallout. <laughs> Again, making sure that blend is perfect. This eye is all about going back in little by little with the color. Using those warm tones from the Anastasia palette and just really just like softly taking them across the edges. And that's pretty much the eye for now. We'll go back to it later. Now I'm just using some rosehip oil um, to moisturize my face and also some strobe cream. This is the same rosehip oil I've been using for the last like year. I'm still using the same brown and everything. I love it. Now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This stuff is heavy duty, but when you're doing an intense smoky eye, you really want a full coverage look because if the skin is too wishy-washy, it can make the eyes look wishy-washy too. I know this looks very like ghost face blank canvas, but you'll see now with this cream bronzer that I'm adding in all of that dimension and warmth so I don't look like a zombie or an extra out of The Walking Dead. All products will be linked below as always in case there's anything that I'm skipping over the name of or going too fast on. But this is my favorite cream bronzer. I've used it in pretty much every tutorial. I'm on the very last bit of it. I think this is the last use I'm going to get out of it. Very sad, have to pick up a new one. And I'm just blending that in with an hourglass brush. It's a nice dense brush so it keeps the color where you want it to be. Now 
Now I'm going in with concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Waterproof Full Cover Concealer. Really like this. Don't hear anyone talk about it, but it's nice and creamy. If you've got like kind of crinkly under eyes, it's not gonna make you look really dry. And it's great coverage as well. Again, look at me going back in with a soft blending brush, making sure those edges of the smoky eye are always really blown out and blended nicely towards my temple. Because sometimes when you use the concealer and you're taking away the fallout, you make the edge of the line too sharp and we don't want that either. So yeah, whenever you feel like it, just go back in with your blending brush. You can go back in at any time. And can you hear Luna crying? I'm so sorry about that, she's so annoying. <laughs> So now I'm just setting underneath my eyes. Again, I don't normally bake this heavily, but when it's such an intense eye, you want the canvas around the eye to be completely flawless. And this is the Kat Von D Lock It um, Powder. It's in the shade Light. Stop it, Luna. <laughs> and I'm using that in any areas that I want to set really well. So that's also in my smile lines and on my chin and underneath my contour. I decided then that underneath my contour was a little bit heavy, so I brushed that away quickly and then let the rest of the bake set in. Now I'm bronzing with this gorgeous Marc Jacobs bronzer. I absolutely love this. I'm using this really soft Bobbi Brown brush as well that just blends bronzer in perfectly. And I'm using that to warm up the edges of the face, not necessarily contour, but we're just bringing that dimension back into the face. You can see the difference now between when I just had the Huda Beauty foundation and how I'm creating that shape back in the face. So across the cheeks, forehead, under the jawline, where I always apply bronzer, a little bit on the nose as well to make me look really naturally sun-kissed I guess even though natural is not the word for this look and then I'm just sweeping away the bake underneath my eyes with this dome shaped brush I think it's from Mecca Cosmetica ages ago but I really like it it's the perfect shape for getting in underneath the eyes and it's just pressing in that product as well to make sure that it lasts ages we want that flawless canvas underneath the eyes now I'm using the Kat Von D contour palette for the face and I'm sculpting out some cheekbones because I've got a really round face and I need to sculpt them. This is a really nice cool tone shade for doing that. And I'm just gently applying that kind of underneath where I bronzed and across my temples. Also just a little bit on the nose, just to snatch that in. Now going into brows, when I have a really intense smoky eye, I want that brow to be really strong and bold and intense as well. So I'm firstly using the Benefit uh, Precisely My Brow, I think it's called, and I'm just kind of feeling out the shape of my brow, getting that baseline of the brow and sharpening up the tail a bit always brushing through, having a, a little look-see to see what I need. And once I've got the shape that I want, I'm going in with a brow powder. This is a really cool tone brow powder. I don't like my brows to look really warm. And I'm just taking that from the top of the brow right out to the end. And really filling in that brow. You'll see the strong brow really frames that smoky eye. So now, finishing up on the eyeshadow, we want to make that outer edge less crisp, so we're using that kind of soft brown shade from the Kat Von D palette underneath the eye. And then I go back into the Anastasia one because again, like I said, for some reason, my Kat Von D palette doesn't seem as pigmented anymore. So I'm using a small brush and just keep going underneath the eye until I feel like I've really blown out that look. And it no longer looks like a triangle kind of pointing out on the edge of my eye. We want to really blow that out. And then I'm taking on an angle brush, this dark brown from the Anastasia palette, and I'm taking that right in beside where I applied the liner so that there's not too much of a difference between the black liner and the soft brown shade that I used. It makes more of a gradient. Now, back in with some more bronzer. I really find that when I finish up with the eyes, I can tell more then what I need on the face. And obviously I decided here that I needed some more definition in the face because the eyes were getting so intense. Now I'm going to highlight with this palette from MAC. I love this palette. I know I shouldn't blow on my brush, but it's a habit I just can't break. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just applying this across the cheekbones. This is a gorgeous palette. I have not seen anyone talking about it, but I love it. Across the cheekbones, it's just so intense, down the nose, up on top of the eyebrows, basically all over my face because that's how I do. 
and also in the inner corners because that eye is so matte I think it's really nice just to have that pop of light on the inner corner to make your eyes go wapow. <laughs> what is that noise? Just putting some balm on the lips because I get such dry lips when I'm filming. This is just from Lana Lips. It's great lips. Great lips, great lip balm. Then some brow gel to set the brows down for the night. You don't want those bad boys going all over the place. And now because we have so much product and powder on the face, a really, really heavy spritzing of MAC Fix Plus, like go to town. God, I love MAC Fix Plus. Look how it makes that highlight, like it activates the highlight and makes it just go poo. Now for some mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Paradise Lash. Really like this mascara. Gonna make those lashes look nice and dark so when we put the falsies on the top, it's all going to match. I'm using this blusher from Benefit. It's brand new, can't remember the name of it. Is it California or something? Lovely color though. It's kind of like Nars Orgasm or something. It just suits everyone. Now sticking on some lashes to really finish off that look because we've got so much eyeshadow, the lashes kind of just disappear. So this is definitely a look you want to pop on a lash for. These are just the Ardell Demi Wispies, an old school fave of mine. They're just so easy. They suit every kind of look. I give them a little trim and then I put them on with the Be Huda Beauty Lash Glue because it's amazing. Now I'm just putting on a little bit of a pink liner, get those lips defined, nothing too crazy on the lips because the eyes are intense. And I'm also applying a matching lipstick and then a tiny bit of a more nude lipstick to the center of the lip, just to look, make them look really full. And that is the finished look. This is my ultimate classic smoky eye go-to look. I absolutely love it. I think it makes my eyes look really, really pretty. And I think it would make your eyes look amazing too. I hope you enjoyed this look. Sorry it took so long because I lost that footage. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and hit the notification button. Talk to you guys soon.